Alright, so this is a small tutorial on how to reduce the input lag on PCS62 and possibly have other gains such as stability and maybe playability. Well, that's excluding the input lag, of course, but that one is still unknown. From my test, it doesn't affect the playability outside of the input lag. The strum limit is the same and everything, but there is one thing with PCS62 is that when you're playing, there is the emulation speed. You can only emulate, em emulate up to a certain speed because of your processor and PC, etc. Which is different for everyone, of course. But let's say right now in my folder. If I run fast right now while recording, it's probably gonna be horrible, honestly. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, load save state. Save slot 2. Right now I'm running at 9495. If I go there, practice. This song, this song. If you look at that right now, it says I'm getting 100% more or less. It's jumping between 90 and 100%. But it's still very smooth. There is a very, there is fairly a small speed chance because of the blah 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 blah. blah. That part doesn't matter. The fact is that I'm running at almost 100%. If I unlock my FPS, it's the same result. Which means I cannot get any higher than that. Because I'm recording, of course. Anyway. So the thing is, if you look, I'm getting almost 600 frames. That's the point of this video. If you go in your document folder, you should find your PCS62 folder and then the NS1 blah 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 whatever version you have. In this folder there is the VM in e, where you can change one setting right there. You can change how many FPS NTSC and PAL are. I'm gonna say that. 600 means that you need 600 FPS to run in NTSC at normal speed and 500 for PAL. Normally it's at 59.94 and 50. But when you change that, it, 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 it becomes a new FPS required to actually get a smooth gameplay at full speed. If I put it back to 690, actually I need to restart that. PCS62 run fast load state number 2 if you look at my emulation speed right now it's 100 percent I'm getting 60 FPS No, it says it still says 100%. That's interesting, honestly. So one other thing to add about this that I did not add is, see now you can see what I mean. I'm not sure if it's showing on video, but it's skipping frames, laggy and stuff, despite saying 100% emulation speed. It's very laggy. So this is what I mean. My emulation speed, if I unlock my FPS right now, it says 110. But it's hardly playable. When I'm not recording, the emulation speed is the exact same. Regardless of my FPS, it's because of the CPU usage. When you increase the FPS, it increases the CPU usage. So if your CPU is strong enough, what you can do is go there, close that. You can put just like maybe 120 or 200 
Se on vedessä paljon monen enää. And when you're gonna play, it's gonna use slightly more CPU, but it's because of the higher FPS, it's gonna be more stable. And the input input lag will be slower. That is the important part. The input lag and on top of the stability. Of course, it might behave differently from people to people, but for me, the input lag is lower and the game is just more stable, despite the higher CPU usage. For the strom limit, it does not have any impacts. I've done tests. For tapping, I have yet to see any difference because I do. I play the exact same with both ways, except that I do better with this because of the input lag, since I'm this easier. But yeah, this is how you play the game with higher FPS. There might be more gains and like upside and downside to this, but so far I've, I haven't seen anything bad. Besides, nothing actually. I haven't seen anything bad with that. So. If anyone get to try this, be careful to not put like 2000 FPS, it's gonna use all your CPU. Because it's really just, the CPU usage is not a huge difference when you increase the, the number because it changed the emulation speed. So, it's a very small impact compared to what you would expect. But yeah, that's it. If, if anyone get to try this, please give me your results for input lag, stability, everything. I'm very curious about what other impact there is from doing this little challenge.